Hi, my name's Louise. I'm here working with Midwaste and Coffs Harbour City Council to talk to you about how to reduce, reduce food waste. Um, there are so many things that we can do in our homes, in our daily life to reduce food waste. But actually one of the most central things for me in my journey of cooking as a home cook, just um, being organized as a, as a mum, is menu planning. Just a word of warning, I'm a little bit passionate about menu planning, so you know, bear with me for a moment. Oh, 12 years ago when I became a mum, I actually made this little chart. It says healthy weekly meal plan, and it's got breakfast, lunch, and dinner and also little tasks to do ahead of time or shopping to use up or food to use in my fridge. So I have all these little sections on here. If that's a little too overwhelming, the best place to start is actually just with dinner because then you can use the leftovers for lunches in lunch boxes as well, or dinner the next night, or do bulk and freeze. So I've got on the, I've laminated this, and this piece, this has actually lasted me 12 years. I use a, and, I, and the old OHP pen, or a little non-permanent marker pen, and it just wipes off with water. Um, and then on the back over the years, I've used it when we've had dietary needs and I write some ideas to help me to save some time or I write my children's favorite meals on there. But basically it helps me stay organized. By having the area to you to, down the bottom it, um, that says food to use, that's so important because I'm so passionate about making sure I don't waste food or I really try my best to not waste too much food at all in our family. So I go through, I do a bit of an audit on Sunday afternoons and see what's in my fridge, what leftovers I need to use up, what, um, you know, what meals I've got in my freezer because I allocate those and I also write up the top here um, what activities we've got during the week. So I, if I need to menu plan around my busy family life, I know that I'm gonna use a, a leftover meal from the freezer or uh, one that I made in bulk the night before and I'm gonna double that up. And also it gives me an opportunity for my children to see what's in season because I buy weekly, I buy in season, I buy directly from farmers where possible. And um, you know, I get a range of different uh, nutrients and different colored vegetables and fruit in there as well when I can see the different types of food groups that I can plan. Also, I just want to show you that why I've got a bowl of apples in front of me is that I sometimes like to buy in bulk when there's something's in season and I bought these beautiful Granny Smith apples because they're my favorite and the kids love, love Granny Smith apples because they're not too sweet. But um, oh, I haven't made my favorite chutney, my apple chutney that I used to make when the kids were younger for ages. So last night I quickly um, cut up some apples, I put it in the saucepan, I put some cinnamon, ginger, apple cider vinegar, uh, a couple of other ingredients and it's just a, a little bit of a savoury apple chutney, blended it up in my food processor when it was cooled down, jarred it up and it's a real treat, we haven't had it for ages. But apples when they're in season, um, you know, you can add that into your menu planning. So, you know, when you've got something in bulk that you need to use, you put it into your menu planning. I've got a whole lot of basil, I've got a whole lot of apples, so I'll probably put my in my menu plan I'm going to do an apple crumble on the weekend for dessert or I'm going to then have that leftovers for breakfast one day during the week so I don't have to think about breakfast or we can have a real treat and do baked apples we can do um, apple cinnamon pancakes for breakfast and then I can freeze those and put them in their lunch boxes that all appears on my menu plan it helps me live within my budget it helps me stay in season it helps have variety in my food I could go on forever about menu planning but it is super critical critical to help you to reduce food waste, not only for the environment, but also for your family budget and your um, awareness raising of what's in season and all the other critical components to do with reducing food waste. Start with menu planning and you will naturally learn to connect with all the other parts and all the tips that are really important for reducing food waste. And that's it for me. Check out our Our Living Coast website and our Facebook page for more really super duper tips on how to reduce food waste. Thanks so much.